What's up everybody, this is Jesse from Hotspot Airsoft, here today to talk to you guys about my custom DMR. Um, I built this rifle about a year ago and it has been incredibly faithful, it performs amazingly, and I thought I would share with you guys um, the kind of work that got put into building this thing. So the shell is a Matrix URX M4, um, and I gutted it. I, it's basically a replica of Knight's Armament Company SR15. Uh, what that has is the cool URX rail system, which has all the engravings um, of you know the top, the left, the right, all the position things. It's got the flip-up built-in front sight, um, and it's got the cool pins for removal, so you can throw an M203 in the bottom if you want it. Uh, the body is completely full metal. It has an ambidextrous magazine release. Um, I threw on a Magpul MOE grip, and that's pretty much the body of the gun. Uh, internally, it is completely different. I brought it to Hotspot Airsoft. I told them I want a gun that's shooting around 500 feet a second, has an incredibly tr crisp trigger response, and I want it to hit people very, very, very far away. Um, and they said, okay. Uh, so they built me this sniper rifle. It's got a drop-in Lonex version 2 gearbox. It's got a Sistema hop-up with a Mad Bull bucking, and it's got a JG Echo 1 Chinese Reband red motor, which is an extremely high torque motor. Um, I actually kept the stock in a barrel because somehow it's shooting beautifully. Uh, if I was going to change anything down the line, it may be to get a tight bore in it, but right now I'm very, very impressed with how it's hitting. Most of the work, well, okay, most of the things that you're seeing on the outside was the external work I put into the gun. I've got an NC Star compact bipod, um, NC Star long range, I think, 4x16 zooming in scope with a sunshade. I've got a uh, Smith suppressor, foam suppressor, uh, and the MOE kind of accessory. Sometimes I'll throw an AFG on here. I use the uh, Magpul uh, 20 magazines, which hold about 75 rounds, and the Magpul MOE grip. Um, so the gun performs beautifully. I was extremely impressed. I really only use a 9.6 in here, even though the gun is totally lipo ready. Uh, and even with a 9.6 pulling an M120, I'm reaching 490 feet a second which would seem a little bit strange because an M120 generally doesn't reach that, but the air seal on this gun is superb, which also makes it incredibly quiet. Um, when I do fire it, it is extremely hard to hear at a distance, especially adding that there's no muzzle sound because it does have a foam suppressor. So, the gun doesn't weigh anything. It is a super lightweight gun. Um, that is because the body is not you know, the heaviest, densest metal. Um, but generally, it doesn't have too much on it which is really awesome for when I am playing as a sniper because I can run extremely fast with this thing. I can drop down, um, even though the gun is lightweight, it is rock solid, so I can just, you know, pop it down and take a few shots. Um, a lot of times in a game, they'll, you know, I'll get a radio call and they'll say, hey, we need you to hit this guy, he's really, really, really far away, or hey, this player isn't calling their hits, come shoot them for us. And I'll say, okay, and I'll run over there, drop down, take a few shots, and I hit him no problem. Um, and that's an awesome feeling, especially when you are a designated marksman for a squad. Uh, the only uh, the other magazines that I would recommend for this are the Mag of Vietnam brand magazines. These are the 130 round mags, but I'll probably only load 40 to 50 shots in it just because I like to add a little bit of realism. This would not hold 130 rounds. Um, and other than that, sometimes I will use long uh, Magpul magazines. But for the most part, I try to keep it as low profile as possible. Anyway. If you want to get a gun that is shooting to whatever your imagination thinks of, I would bring it to Hotspot Airsoft to get it done. They got it done in only about three weeks. Um, the parts arrived quickly, uh, the service was great, and it didn't cost a terrible much for the installation because they're familiar with a wide range of parts. So our techs here are awesome, and they can build your great, you know, the greatest gun you can think of. And I'm not saying that because it's the store I'm working for. I'm saying that because I own a gun that was built here. I'm extremely impressed with it, and I would recommend this kind of work to be done to any gun. Anyway, this is Jesse from Hotspot Airsoft. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll show you more cool stuff.